enteric fever. Enteric fever is commonly called typhoid fever. It is a systemic illness characterized by constitutional and abdominal symptom. Constitutional symptom such as fever, cough, lethargy, weakness and abdominal symptom such as abdominal pain, walking, constipation and diet. Enteric fever is caused by Salmonella typhi and Salmonella ferrotypi A, B and C strain. Any person with a history of fever of 38 degree centigrade of 3 days or more than 3 days with abdominal symptom such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, constipation always suspect enteric fever. What are the diagnostic criteria of enteric fever? Diagnosis of enteric fever. There are two methods for diagnosis of enteric fever. Clinical Diagnosis Second is the Bacteriological Diagnosis Clinical Diagnosis First Sign and Symptom of Enteric Fever are always non-specific. The patient may be presented with non-specific symptoms such as cough, flu, headache, lethargy and weakness. Clinical diagnosis is suspected on the basis of fraction of fever. The fever is insidious in onset and continuous step later in petra. It is just like step later in petra. And it is a continuous step later in petra. Continuous fuel means it does not touch the baseline. The temperature does not touch the baseline and daily variation between daily variation of uh, maximum and minimum temperature less than 1.5 degree Fahrenheit. Continuous step ladder pressure fewer occurring typhoid Head patient presented with insidious fever, continuous step ladder, and associated with abdominal symptoms such as abdominal pain, vomiting, constipation in adult, and diarrhea in children always suspect enteric fever.
मलेरिया एंड डेंगू मस्ट बी रूल आउट इन द एंडेमिक एरिया In case of malaria, the fever is intermittent, idemic. Intermittent fever means fever is present for fewer hours, followed by fever free free interval. While dengue in dengue fever, malaria and bony pains are more common any patient with history of insidious fever continuous step ladder and pattern associated with abdominal symptom always suspect typhoid fever the second method is the bacteriological diagnosis cbc may show low wbc count leukopenia or wbc count may be normal in uncomplicated enteric fever in case of intestinal perforation there will be leukocytosis in enteric fever there may be leukocytosis thrombocytopenia and anemia in case of severe enteric fever due to septicemia or due to disseminated intravascular coagulation dic what a test type b dot test what a test it did it and quantifies the antibody against the typhoid antigen o and h it is iodine specific and should not be done type b dot test it detect antibodies against the typhoid outer membrane protein by elisa it is also not specific and should not be done because of low sensitivity limited sensitivity specificity and cross reactivity these tests do, do not help in the diagnosis i should be warned i should be stop immediately by all lab warned by national institute of health islamabad in july 2020 
because of low specificity, low sensitivity and thrust reactivity. The weather test and black culture, there are 40% congruence between weather test and black culture. The gold standard diagnostic test for thyroid fever is blood culture. Blood culture is the gold standard diagnostic test. The sensitivity of blood culture is 61 percent. A negative blood culture does not exclude type I fever because sensitivity is 61 percent. 80 percent of blood culture becomes positive in first week. In the first week, 80 percent of blood culture become positive. And after that, the positivity will be remain declined. Bone marrow culture Bone marrow culture is more specific than the blood culture. Bone marrow culture, it shows eye heat, but it's rarely done in clinical practice. What is the gold standard test for internet fever? Is blood culture. Stool urine and bile is stored urine and bile culture do not elf in the diagnosis of acute infection Fecal culture, stool culture does not differentiate between acute and chronic infection. After acute infection, nearly 5 to 10 percent will develop chronic carriage. The shedding of bacterium through feces for more than one year is called chronic carriage. The focus of bacterium in chronic carrier is commonly in the gallbladder and rarely in the urinary bladder. 